zero on ICR so I get on the floor of the crash. There is. Ready for the last one. Three three seven six. Thirty three seventy six. Fourteen thirty three. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, Mighty Mike, uh, Under Sheriff Mighty Mike Martin is teaching at a game conference today and uh, could not be with us, but we're like the fill ins, right, Pat? Right. We're, like we're like the sixth man on a basketball team. That's so us. That's Pat, us. Pat and I are filling in today for Mighty Mike Martin. Beautiful day in Minnesota, 74 degrees. That's our 659. Partly cloudy, partly sunny. Go ahead, Metro. I'm never really sure which one is better. Are you out with an Audi? The partly with, cloudy uh, and plate. partly sunny. But, uh, Negative. I'm at the motorcycle crash. We are down here on Rice Street. People are starting to take their shirts off for the warm weather. And we had a carjacking about an hour ago that St. Paul squad found the car. The car fled and crashed. The officers are out looking for the suspect. We're going to have another car crash here if Susie doesn't get out of the street. Go ahead and tell her, Pat. Susie, come on. Be smarter than that. They make angels that way. You don't want to get run over. And you will get arrested eventually if you stay in the street, Susie. state of affairs. Anyhow, we are, uh, we had a carjacking a little bit ago. We're like uh, most departments, most law enforcement, well most, uh, you know, really it's not even, I saw the news they were talking about the law enforcement community is grieving. I hope, I hope they correct that and say the Uh, community is grieving regarding the loss, right? The I mean, entire community. Hang on a second. We are live on patrol just in case, but you're not on speaker. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I correct myself. Okay, there you go. Anyhow, um, you know, 
just goes to dramatize how dangerous this job can be on a simple call like a man in the, in the ditch in his car. Right, Pat? I mean, it's... Uh, Thinking you're going there to help somebody. Yeah, you're murdered by the person you're trying to help. So, I don't know if you have it yet. Oh, this might be interesting. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Mike Martin, you're live on patrol. You want to apologize for being out of town teaching officers about gangs? Oh, man. I, I just, we were just watching. I was just telling people about live on patrol and they were watching. One of my friends posted the, the comment about uh, this guy's so much better than Bob Fletcher. Yeah, so, there's no doubt. Um, <laughs> She said a lot of people jumped. <laughs> I mean, this guy's so much better than Mike. Oh, no, no. So I heard people jumped in. But, um, yeah, we're here. We have 350 gang investigators from 10 states and uh, from Canada that are all here swapping ideas on doing gang investigations and reducing violence. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, thanks for your leadership on that issue. And, no uh, problem. I appreciate you guys covering for me today. Well, it's good you called in, you know, because there were a lot of people te texting me thinking that you were just somewhere on vacation. And I said, no, no, he's actually working, you know. But uh, So, anyhow, there you go. I am. It looks like the weather's better there than it is here. What? Yeah, what town are you in? South Bend. South Indiana. Bend, South Bend, Indiana. Home of uh, Notre Dame, right? Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah. yeah. I've been so, there. It's a nice place. Yeah. Hey, they got a, why they, why they got a, they got a go-kart track there. You should check it out. It's like professional go-karts in South Bend. Really? Yeah, ask around. It's like, it's like real go-karts that are really fast. You got to wear helmets and, uh. Oh, I'm a I'm gonna see where that is. Yeah, there seems to be less regulation there than there is in Minnesota. <laughs> I, th I think you, I think you could be the new champion of the track the way you drive. You should try test it out. I don't oh, know. Somebody well, somebody will know where it is. It's not too far from Notre Dame. It's it's okay. Uh, it's a good thing Darren's not here. It's yeah, there you go. It's an adult coach. It's an adult giant race car track. So you'll have fun. Okay. All right, that sounds like fun. Well. Thanks a lot, and hey, tell Susie to stay out of the street. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. All right, Mike, so, thanks. See you when right, you get back. Thanks. See you, boss. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Well, that was nice of him to call in. Yeah. So anyhow, if you go, I know I've encouraged and urged many of you to become uh, followers on the department page. I reshared it, but our department page has information. Um, other information that besides what we had and you know we posted a photograph of the deputy that was killed and you know when you look at her face and her picture all the promise that she had you just you can't not just be sad, be sad and you know share that information like it, comment, you know, the last when Josh passed away, I mean, you guys you followers were great about sharing his legacy but uh, she's another one that deserves it it just shows you how a, how a traffic stop can go bad, I mean, Ronnie Ryan same thing you know, it's uh, I just there's countless numbers of traffic stops and domestics that have resulted in the death of officers. I mean, we're talking between Minnesota and Wisconsin. Four law enforcement officers murdered in two weeks. Yeah. It's Within 100 miles from here. Yes. Way. Yes. So, I don't know. I guess my, my other point about the news was... It, it, you know, newsmakers, if you're making it, it shouldn't be news, it shouldn't be law enforcement is grieving. If you watch those 
citizens in Hudson, in Glenview City, Glenwood City, all through St. Croix County, the community was grieving. Yes, the law enforcement community is grieving, but the community itself is grieving and, and should be. You know, someone that gave their life just to try to be out there helping people. And I tell you what, there's another problem. You, you can check around the country. You're going to find out that the whole country is thousands of officers down. Thousands of officers from down from where they should be. And not having enough officers contributes to the lack of backup. Any officer on a traffic stop should get a backup within 10 minutes. Maybe five, maybe two or three. But when you're alone, that gives the criminal element an opportunity to take you out without getting caught themselves. Absolutely. Always, the, the, the criminal element is always looking for a way out. Certainly not always as drastic as this, but always looking for a way out of the circumstance, out of the situation. Right. They size up the officer. They looking for a way to escape, looking a way to disarm the officer. We used to always, when Pat and I started back in the late 70s, early 80s, we predominantly had two-person cars. And for a variety of reasons, the call increase, the shortage of officers over time. And, you know, we've moved toward one-person cars, but far safer to have two-person cars like in the old days. Absolutely. And I've been on a lot of calls that I, my partner wasn't there. My partner, Mike Beeson, Pat Finnegan, Bob, Bob Luna, they weren't there to back me up. Things could have gone downhill fast. Definitely. So. The suspect is far less likely to attempt anything when there's two officers. You always want more officers than you do suspects. There you go. That's pretty much the simple, simple thing. Squad 
it's, got, it's going to have a different information than we have at times. Blankets over the windows. Unknown what the doctor right now, but there was a party in it yesterday. Anyhow, when you look in her eyes, you just think, oh my god. So young. Oh, so young. So much life yet to live. Katie, is it pronounced Lacing? I'm not sure if it's Leasing or Lysing. It's spelled L E I S I N G. But I've heard the news pronounce it both ways, lysing and leasing and lacing. So uh, maybe somebody can put on our stream what the proper spelling is, but it's proper pronunciation. 29 years old, a mother, a member of the community. Twenty-nine years old. The fabric of a small community is torn apart with the loss of an officer. Because they are so integral. Inter 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 sure, inter 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 ah, they're sure, so much a part of the community. situation tomorrow on our Facebook page but uh, investigators are actively working to figure out who killed a young father in a one St. Anthony Park neighborhood in St. Paul we're going to drive you there by the house and um, you know Pat and I have been around a long time we've seen a lot of different murder Taller white male, the mask. Don't go on the towards someone. Somebody sounds muffled. Yep. Every, uh, every law enforcement agency from Glenwood City, Wisconsin, 
to the Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office and including a contingent of Minneapolis police officers escorted the, the deputy style, like, the entire yeah. way. Very emotional to see the videos and pictures of the session. Saturday evening. Saturday evening. Yep. And the, the father that was killed, that was like Saturday morning, right? Saturday morning at 7 right 30? about 7.30. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, we had that horrific incident in Texas. On God's green earth are people thinking. It sounds like it was an off-duty police officer. Took him out. Took the guy out. Yep. Good job. In a tragic, tragic circumstance. hard to keep going to funerals and wakes. Yes, it is. Gotta be but back to my point that the, mo the less officers you have, the less backup you have. And part of the reason that we don't have as many people coming Looks into like this the field. Looks like vehicle is down here. We're just watching it from like a block away. Uh, no hurry, but if a nice squad just wants to head down here and I'll wait for them and then we can check the apartment. And, uh, yeah. available squad that can start to 70, 1704 Is that where the car registers to? No, that's a stolen. That's Tommy Reese, he's on a different call, you know. 131, I'm just uh, getting the car dropped off in the ECC garage. Once we get done with that, I can start that link. Well, well, Pat's looking for that. I guess my point is that some of the elected officials that vilify a law enforcement officer make it harder. I am. Summit's looking clear, so I can Is that control assist. That one's off, right? Yeah. Copy. Thanks, Lee. There's something coming from down there. <laughs> Maybe there is a, another radio in here. Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, oh, here, it's probably this one here. What's yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we found them all then. <laughs> we got them all. Except my backup one. Well, it's daytime. <laughs> so, you know, I guess we can't turn down there. You think that's what all those cones mean? That could be. It looked like they were leaving a left turn lane open. Oh. Anyhow, the less, the harder it is to recruit officers, the less we have on the street. And frankly, uh, it impacts our overall strength and whether we have backups available. So it impacts the safety of the street. That's the bottom line. Not only that, you know, when you when you when you 
verbally critique and complain about officers it shrinks the pool of people that apply and a lot of good people don't apply so we get a less qualified group I urge people to make knowledgeable informed rational critiques so right now we're on Larpenter Avenue and just left the city of Falcon Heights and moved through the city of uh, Lauderdale and we're gonna go south on Eustace back into the city of St. Paul <laughs> With my eyes closed, I could tell yeah. what the way. So, again, if you just joined us, it's Bob and Pat. We're filling in for Mike Martin, Mighty Mike Martin, who's uh, teaching at a gang summit. Gang seminar. Yeah, I'm trying to fill his shoes, but uh, his shoes feel pretty well, the thing thick about with my it, feet in them. You and him have the best radio voices around, so you don't have to fill his shoes. You just got to fill his throat. You know, you just got to <laughs> just give his give the voice the voice. That's all it is. It's the voice. that thought up later. I'm just going to go. we got to go down here. And... So we're here in St. Anthony Park. And um, we're going to drive by. First, I'm just going to show you the neighborhood. This is a beautiful neighborhood. Um, and you, you really can't beat it in terms of crime-free neighborhood, right? I mean, virtually we never get calls up here. Rarely. Rarely. So, a murder here is very unusual, but also this particular type of murder. So, we, we don't, we're not working the case, although we have some information, but I think it's fair to say it's been posted publicly by family and others that the victim was coming out to confront. Here's the street, Chill Club. Street. Street. I, I, this is where I started my career, actually, in this neighborhood. I'll be clear and leaving downtown. Uh, we don't, there's see. A pending we don't see what? Anyone. And, uh... Every, every I started my career right here in St. Anthony and uh, Park. And I can go take care of that. It's always been a great neighborhood. That's all I can say. You got Langford Park down here for the Fourth of July celebration. They have a Fourth of they're one of the fourth, only places still that has a Fourth of July parade. And uh, so 
I don't know. No, I'm not going to mince words. Saturday morning, evil visited this neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... This is... Spawn and James through cars down there. It's going to be five parties total. So... Father of two... Hockey coach goes out when people are going through his wife's car. It's shot three times in the chest. His two kids, Bantam coach, his two kids, fatherless. Fatherless children for trying to stop someone from breaking into his car. All his, co his players the community we're gonna post we're gonna tomorrow we're gonna post a tribute to him uh, on our Facebook page and hopefully by then we have some more information regarding the suspects but when you see you see the pictures of him you'll see it on the news tonight here if you're from out state maybe not until we post but you'll see Neighbor called this one, or was it the person in the what, what a friendly face! Friendly face, it just it's just uh, you just can't make sense out of a circumstance like that. So, I mean, obviously, this, the, the, the saying is overused. Hearts and minds and prayers and thoughts. I just got to be honest with you. All that is true, but Pat and I are pissed off. <laughs> I mean, we, we, evil. And here's what I want to say. If it turns out that whoever did this, and we will catch them, it would be a shocker if whoever did this didn't have a criminal record, right? Oh, absolutely. If it turns out that the suspect or the assailant in this case had a criminal record, it'll be time again to critique the justice system. You saw the case where the DOC let that party out of custody even after they assaulted the correctional officer. And that whole line about they had no choice, not true, folks. You just got to file a hearing to revoke some of the good time. This is Langford Park down here, one of the nicest 4th of July celebrations that there is. This is the other thing. I mean, I, 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 I'm sure this will spark debate, okay? But when, Pat, let me ask you the question. When you're short officers, which neighborhoods get shorted? The uh, neighborhoods with the least crime? Bingo. When you're short officers, neighborhoods with the least amount of crime get shorted because they have to have cars in the busy areas. I'm sure. 100% sure. But that's true for every neighborhood in the city that has very low crime. So the officer shortage affects the safety of the officers and it affects the safety of the citizens. Yes, indeed.
So that last call when it sucks and whatever it was, it was 15 minutes old. So... This whole, this whole community here, not just here, but the Roseville hockey community where he coached, where he coached hockey, but the whole uh, St. Anthony. They mourn the loss of Mike Brazel. Mike Brazel and to his wife, Hillary, and kids, Oliver, and Miles. Rest assured we won't rest till justice is done, but that won't fill the hole and no, it doesn't. our Our prayers are with the entire family. And our love for you guys. But look for us you know, a better tribute to Mike tomorrow. trip through the heart of St. Anthony Park. This is different than St. Anthony Village or the city of St. Anthony. It's just uh, this is a neighborhood in St. Paul referred to as St. Anthony Park. There's a good tribute in the St. Anthony Park. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. If, I think the bugle is the newspaper here. Share that, huh? Broadcast separate time. Yeah, can you name Go ahead, which one? That's the one doing all the car prowling. Island Park. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a stolen 2015 silver oh, Audi A3, A3 which is a mid-sized sedan of Audis. Plate number MZN894. Like Mike Zebra Nancy 894, that has been doing theft from autos and prowling cars all throughout Highland, McAllister, Groveland, and the West End of 7th Street. They're out there and active right now. Keep an eye out for it, please. If you see it, call 911. Silver Audi A3, which is the A3. That is uh, it's a sedan. It looks like that. Sedan. Mike Zulu, November your daytime tour of St. Anthony Park, City of St. Paul. Como and Carter is kind of the 
west and then coming over to Central. Central is the last known location they have to change. Yeah, call 911 and we're getting calls on that Audi. Make sure you call in if you see it, folks. Before the vehicle came into Central, I do have a vehicle matching and description committing crime. And information to squad the location. Where's that at? 800 James Central, Lexington, and Albion. 100? The stolen vehicle is going to be Mike Zulu, November 894. Coming back to Audi. Four-door, eight-three. Stolen area. Two males wearing masks. And they, for 335, there was weapons involved with firearms that were pulled on civilians. Hmm. Where'd that come from? That's another one call on the east side, probably, huh? 235. 176, did you copy that? I copy. Thank you. That came from, uh, you're right, it came from uh, Matt Jones. And if it comes from Matt Jones, I take that to the bank. Yep. Well, there you have it. We're talking about an officer getting killed. And, and Matty what? Jones chiming in on a call. Of course, his father was killed in 1994. Don't worry, this is just going to be for. Neighbors or that are living in the area that are seen as no live traffic. The Lexington and Albion, they may have been attempting a carjacking. They were two males in masks in the middle so of the I road. I thought they were able to track the Ran up to a passing vehicle. And for West Clouds, there's another call regarding that same Audi that. in Central 800 what James. Is what channel you on? Blasting Three. West on James, and that's going to be just now okay. for a two minute time delay. Really. Getting it out soon. No, she just said West. This is our 794 Armstrong Avenue for that motor vehicle found. Someone just said it's on 5 June this year with an orange ladder at the back. So I need some. It is all buzzer related to. Well, definitely the oh, West there Sector. There you go. The West Sector. Down on West. South. You're great. That sounds like a truck. They, they dumped on James. I'm headed there now. Yeah, they about to say one is the same. What the truck that got stolen? Yeah, they see that they confirm it's the same vehicle or not, so I can't send the calls. Which truck was stolen? It's going to be the same call. Uh, Hotel Sierra. Okay, they Hotel dumped it right away. Is this one here? Or no. I think I'm going to show you quick. The GMC that was just stolen? Yeah, I, they I, dumped it right away on, uh, <laughs> on James. It was stolen from Armstrong? Correct. Hotel X-ray, Hotel 110. I'm, only, I'm totally dependent on you for information. James? Because there's a lot of radio traffic. Right now we are looking for, that's the only one we know we're looking James. for. But can you give me the areas of where it's been seen? Okay. Uh, 150 and route to 794 100%. Armstrong, 800 James, Lexington and Albion. Uh, I think it's be easier to go through the thread here. Oh, yeah. Good idea. 2400 block of Grand Avenue. That was the same car? Correct. Okay. Oh, Grand Avenue South in Minneapolis. Okay. Was occupied four times, oh. all with guns. That was from Jessica. That's from Jessica. Then there is one in like Mac Groveland, but I don't have the. And then we think there's one on the there was one on the east side according to Jonesy. Like, no, he was just uh, relaying the information about the guns. Okay. We don't know of one on the east side. Do you know where the gun information came from? Jessica. Jessica. Okay. From when it was active over South Minneapolis. Okay. So we pick up front and also the Audi now. Last one, your transition is not going through. Go again. The deal with that truck, 867 James. 
happy I was a drug basic seven James. So it sounds like he the, occupied or not. Sounds like the Audi occupants stole the truck, dumped it. Stole it on Armstrong and dumped it two blocks away. Um, then he got back into the Audi left westbound from that James address. Okay. Oh my goodness, people. When you're driving, you're Sounds supposed easy. to pull out, get, 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 your, get your body left out left. into the intersection. Actually, technically, I'm going to let you guys go. Bridges before long, I would think. Yeah, that's I was gonna go down to Ford, but I don't know if I'll make it there before they would. There's Harley. Hopefully, they'll stop right. for some more mischief along the way. Yeah. Yeah, we We're gonna try to head into that district as quick as we can, see if they're mounting an escape. But I'm sure they're hot over in Minneapolis as well, right? So. Yep. It's not like they'll be unspotted in Minneapolis. They need to find some different wheels. And that is their goal, and they'll try to steal a car if they can. But if they can't steal one, they'll try to they'll end up robbing somebody. Which can sounds like they may have been trying to do Juliet. Lexington and all. Black males are trying to take them at some point. They're gonna be in that silver house. Oh, 1283 Juliet. Yeah. 1283 that vehicle is on 1283 Juliet Avenue for an assault. That silver Aldi. Three five mail. That is really weird that they're transmitting that information on yeah, three five. 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 Yeah, All right, all backseaters, get out in your front yard. If you live in Highland Park, one three one down there, McAllister Grove, living Grand Avenue, get out and look for this silver Audi. I've that silver Audi at twelve eighty three Juliet. They just tried to take a vehicle at gunpoint. There you go. Remember we were just saying they'll rob them if they They need a new car. Mike Zulu, November eight nine four. This is your chance, backseaters. It'd be nice if that chopper was up. Mike Zulu November 894. They know they're hot. They need a car. They're going to rob somebody. They got a gun. All, all four possibly have guns. Share this with your friends. Tell them to be on the lookout for this car. Share it and tell them Mike Zulu November 894. Mac Groveland, Highland Park, West 7th Street. The 633, they just left. Again, the plates, Mike Zulu, Victor 894. They're going to be going west on Julia. If you do see that car. Don't approach it. Call 911. Just folks who party on Juliet, they went cell phone on hand one. Three males with all with firearms. Jesus. Serious business. We need to share this and get any. If you got high level friends. Damn it, Randolph and Hamlin, no. Can we see if the bird's in the air? And I know a lot of a lot of people on here are on the uh, Hamlin Neighbors page. Put that on the Hamlin Neighbors page, please. Right now, we've gotten a lot of tips because of that. Oh, I do have a party that's trying to track their phone that the suspect took. Mike Zulu, November eight nine four, silver Audi A three. It's more of a sedan than it is a sedan version. They will be trying to steal something else. One three eight advise Minneapolis. See if we go over the bridge. I'll be able to get you about 36, 56 Hoffman Road. Go for it. Seven again for medics. Bring it or one three eight. Clear my note. Advise. Rolling on one three eight. Call give you my number for ground contact. Got like a district Audi, silver Audi, orange and yellow involved in multiple death models. 
Peggy Tiller, all these live rooms don't have cast or don't have cast. One looks like that, the blue jacket with orange and yellow jeans. It's just like this. One, three, one, please, I'm going to call. We do have a call that just comes ending at 1058 Lombard Avenue. Five males are just going through vehicles at a construction site. Okay. They will fled the westbound towards the driver's side. They have black ramps or no hook. 1058 Lombard. Lombard, yeah. Right off of St. Clair. Yeah. Well, they were, technically they were going south. You never know which one came in first, but south from the Juliet address, so. Come here, one three. I'm south, Paul West from 94. The Central Squad on this call was just requesting we do possibly have an outside one for flight for this vehicle. Central Squad is on patches outside one at 1523. We don't have the freaking car here. Now we are on the outside one. We're going to put this on outside. Okay. Yeah. Central Squad, flight is en route. Noticing fire. Noticing fire. Two four eight case number, please. Scott two four eight case number is going to be zero seven seven one zero two. Twenty seven fifty north south. I didn't catch it. Are you with the vehicle? There's a couple blocks block block in front of me. It's yeah, 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 Hamlin coming up on Randolph, you said? Yes. Clear. Westbound Randolph, Westbound Randolph. Westbound Randolph. Westbound Randolph. Sticks, out Westbound Randolph. Sticks out the window. Sticks out the window. 
Oh, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, Fifty or fastly, as long as I asked it. One injured. We're clear. Up and walking. Vehicle is at the corner of Pasco Road and Yard here. So it's over. Everybody, one more calling. Copy, medic general. I got three one three one. I got three here at uh, Pasco and Portland. Continuing northbound. Pasco and Portland. Yeah. One's going east in gray pants, black hoodie. Other is continuing eastbound Portland, and he's wearing orange. I'm going to cut him off to the... Let's get a squad to Albert and Summit. He had to come out here, didn't he? The dog was on him, though. The dog might have him already. 633. I'm also going to need 600 here for a dog bite. What is the address? Put that later. 1442 Portland. Get a car to the front of 1442 Portland. Did he say to the front of 1442? Yeah. We gotta find all four though, man. That's Squad directed pull up another 40 feet and he's directed to your right. I think they still got one right here. This is report a taller male with some kind of orange had a gun in his waistband. Oh 476. Is this one in custody? 1438. 1436. Portland. Copy medics of 1436 Portland. Do we have all three in custody yet? 476. We got two here. Have a hand with coming through the alley. Is that 14? 42 Portland. You seem like right one house east of there. Where I directed everybody to. Yep, we are not clear for medics yet. We have them locked down on the block to the east. So let's just hold and have another canine come up if we have to. Are we standing by for medics? Into custody. 1436 Portland. 1436 Portland. On the northeast corner of the house. All right, one three eight. So we have three in custody, confirming we had three runs. Correct. Twenty seven witnesses say there was five. Five came out of it, and I can't give you a description on all of them at this point. But someone in orange had a gun in his waistband. All right, that's going to be the guy by fourteen forty two Portland. We have orange sweat dance on the northeast corner, 1436 Portland, in custody. 105. I only saw three parties that uh, one three it was in pursuit of. I don't know where the other two won. I don't think anybody else has eyes on the other two right now. Are we having medics stand by for 1436 Portland? Alright, uh, really, I think since we have everybody in custody, we can open up the air for normal traffic, people who need medics and so forth. So the jury's code for Send them in. Copy, and just to confirm, we need medics, two medics at 1436 Portland. 178, we're calling for, for 1442 Portland for medics. One oh five. One oh five, go ahead. Just make sure that we got medics going to where they're supposed to be going. I think what two people called out for them now. And then squads keep your perimeter. Maybe we'll get a new canine in here and do an article search. Copy. I'm working on that. So we need medics at fourteen forty two Portland and we also need medics at fourteen thirty six Portland. 
That's what I believe. Maybe officer has on scene could give her a hand here. The squad at fourteen thirty six Portland that can confirm that medics are cleared in. Negative. I cleared them in there. Is there anyone at fourteen thirty six Portland that can confirm if medics are needed and cleared in? Six three three. We're going for it here. We're gonna walk. We're gonna walk them out to the street. Copy. Are medics needed anywhere else? One oh three, can we check to see if they need them at the crash site, please? They're already there and cleared in. One seven eight, can you have them come to the alley? Medics, they're working for you too Bravo 531. Sorry, last Bravo squad again. Bravo 531, I'm working CLT over in East. If you need another canine, I can head that way. I'm sorry, you want them at your location? Negative, if they need another canine. To us on that article search, I can start that way. 633, do you want another squad? That's another canine. 633, do you want that? Bravo 531. 633, it's Bravo 531. Did you want him to help you? Why didn't you want that medic to come down Colin here? Joe Miller, home. 633. I think there's a couple more I'll call, yeah, make a call. Here. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, medic needed sure. in the alley. Can you hear me? Also, if you could have the medic no. come to the alley, that's where the one suspect is that needs to be looked at. And that's at 1442, correct? One three, Lon. I'm with medic. We might just be faster walking. We'll try and let him clog the traffic up front here. Sue, are you copy here? One three one, go again. Two one, whatever his call number is. Did you copy there? One seven six, negative. All right, they took off chasing after these guys. I know you have three in sight. Was that the only ones you saw, or did you see any others? All right, thanks. I got the one right here. One seven six, go ahead. Uh, with the K Yeah, I know. There's just people walking around everywhere right now, so I want to try to get over there. All right, folks. To get some so, hunting hiding down in case they don't think so. That was actually a little bit away. intense there for a little minute. Well, when I got off the... So we pulled there. You saw Pull the... up here real quick. You guys been outside for long? Have you been outside for long? Okay. There's this guy over on Summit that was waving us west. You remember that? Yep. Pointing west. And then the cops were saying northeast. So I think right about, I think three of them, folks. Uh, Any idea what they look like? Uh, and once then they started chasing, it sounds like he only had three. And we took those three in the country. Yeah. Do you still want flight? I'm thinking north and west, like yeah. you said. Yeah. That's not flight. We know the suspect that we were at. Bottom line is the house. Uh, I was coming around the corner of Jay Maher from our apprehension division. 
was out in the street and he saw him hiding around the corner, which was, it's good to know there's a potentially armed man there hiding around the corner when you come around the house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus. Now you, got, you guys did a great job, job taking him into custody. Do we still want to fight out here? A couple different angles on a house, you know? And we've arrested this young man several times before, by the way. The one that wanted to use the bathroom. The one that wanted to use the bathroom was known shoplifting and closed things around the store. Uh, Tight and came to town again. Better descriptions from the stuff that occurred in the center. Well, okay. I got, I got, I got, a, I got to check this area out up here. They, sometimes they store, sometimes they store previous stolen's up here. Twenty-seven fifty with a plate in the air. Check. Originally, they were getting ready to leave. Do you still want them? No, I didn't want to cancel if they were in the air. If they're not, then uh, we're fine. I'm sure you have from 36. Captain. Buses, maybe, huh? Okay. Gas stations. 180. Ubers. Did you append the uh, AWI at Granite Pass close to the assault? They did. All right, I'll be there. Starting to take care of that. Copy. Did you say greet? Gre Do you want yeah, a separate copy of that? Did you say Grandin Pasco? Yes. I'll let you know. And then it was, did he say DWI? There's a lot. I don't know if they hit somebody that was intoxicated. I just know it was an accident. Yeah. Yeah, somebody that was intoxicated. Go ahead, Joe. Hello. Hello. But no, no restrictions. Search every guy on scene. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, when you go there, find out who the other two are. We, we don't know who that who the other two are. If you can find out, but I mean, you think so? One five eight. One five eight. If you don't have me on this, you can put me out on my fourteen thirty six with the money suspect. Joe, Joe, text me with the names of the other two. Same group of kids, they steal cars up in this area, they dump them over here on a regular basis. You just had to call notes 1442 Portland, they'll have video and I spoke with them. Oh, good, Fort Jackson. 1442 Portland, good video. The outer perimeter now we work we'll work ourselves back in to the inner perimeter i mean it is rough hey hey how are you when that came out i was sitting on marshall yep. at the bridge i was listening to you guys good for you thank so you then i heard a crash i knew where pastor was but i couldn't find the other street so i wouldn't know i Passport, Portland. Yeah, yeah, cross. Nobody, cr nobody crossed Marshall. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that's good. Backseater says that where we're at, the, he didn't see anybody cross Snelling and Marshall to come here. Those are helpful observations. Well, that's good work. Cat Team Sergeant Mike Servatka 
spotted the car after it left going southbound on Hamlin. Well, I think actually Darren, I think Darren, Darren McDonald was at the call, right? And said they went southbound on Hamlin. Yep, and then uh, I think it was Shabatku who spotted it northbound on Hamlin. Yeah, no, first he, yeah, he, he went down to Hamlin and Randolph. He said, I'm going down Hamlin and Randolph. For some reason, it was going northbound. I know that uh, there's a in his car. He's right behind his car, he's just in the entire time. Maybe he wants to stay there and well, he could still, still be hiding out in the area, Pat. But somewhere on the east side of Pascal. I'm sure you want to get the trip or free trip. East side of Pascal. He said east. Four, seven, six. Copy, thank you. He sounds more tired than we are, Pat. <laughs> Much more tired than we We should probably take you back to the where the car crashed so you can get a little view of that too, don't you think, Pat? Mm -hmm. should let them see the car that crashed. Was that Grandin Pascal, you think, or just south of Summit? They said Grandin Pascal. And mind you, they crashed with no one chasing them. They were just trying to keep an eye on them, keep them in sight, in fact, because they, we knew we had the had, chopper in coming. In fact, they had lost them. They said they could just see the dust from their mm -hmm. tires, which to leave dust when you're on asphalt is, you got to be moving fast. 3.30 3 in the afternoon. I hope they found some guns in that car. Sounds like at least two of them had the guns on them when they were running. The two they caught, you think, or what? Well, but what? the one you got and Meyer got for sure. Well, you saw he dumped it somewhere. Yes, definitely. Well, wow. Yeah, Pat, you We would have searched around more for the gun, but usually we leave that task to the canine. Sure Hard to believe, but the dogs are better at that than us. Rough road. This guy here, this guy here is the guy that was right to my, my back of my alley there. And they all came running around. Four at first with masks all over them, you know? Yep. They ran down past them, came down my alley. Yep. Halfway through the alley, they all started dispersing in the middle here. Okay, but right now we're west of Pasco. This yeah, is Pasco. Yeah, so now they're all, you guys circle them. You guys caught, I mean, yeah, I know, but we, we, got, caught, we got three of them we right over there. We caught three. We're looking oh, for the... Oh, so they're moving laterally, they moved down. Well, they, three went that way, and we're wondering, but the other ones were on the other side of Pasco, yeah, right? Yeah, they were, they were right where that, um, those guys are working on the roof. Right. They kind of all scooted that way. So then some must have, what you said, went that way. Yep. But I, you guys were really good at cutting them off and cornering. But well, we got to find the other two. From here but, into this but I saw you pointing that way. Thank you for doing but that. But you we saw a total of four. Well, I saw four and one. Four and then two. I thought two came later. Okay. Right behind. So there might have been six of them. Okay. But they were, you know, they were all covered. Masks. Is there anything that really stands out about what anybody was wearing? The typical black, they all black and they all were gangsters. And then look with the mask and the, the whole look that you see everywhere nowadays. It was that. Where's What's the there? car? Is it still back here? Yeah, they're right there. Uh, an, right. an older lady got. Thank, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. So the other ones probably did end up. They're already right in front of us. I think the, the ones that are in custody right now yeah. are part of the group he saw. Well, no doubt. Yeah. You think I was wondering about that? No, they ran. They ran. They all ran on the west side of Pascal, and they split up, because that's what. Yeah. Oh what, boy. That's what. Uh, what's his name was saying. What do you think, Sarge? You're on live, so just. Uh, but we talked to the other guy. It's, it's possible the other three were west of Pascal. This witness up here in the corner, he saw him cross. You saw him run down the alley. We got places working on video too, so that yeah, that'll help. 
Well, we, I know the one kid really well. This one, he's been arrested numerous times. Good job, nice, Mike. Nicely good job. done. Good job, you're nicely alive. Done. Good job. Good job, just to be aware. See lottery, Jake.
we got three of them and okay. we and we recovered one gun oh. all right so it turns out this witness that saw this 1484 Hi, the one with the gate open, I'm betting, huh? Uh, no, I just opened that. Hey, it's actually it, on the other side. Is the canine? Okay. Oh, there he is there. Yeah, okay. he's over there. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, so right here, next to 1484 is where they were running, between these two houses. And right there, you'll see the officers found a gun. Found a gun. A picture of it? Yeah, good idea. Good idea. So this is exactly where the witness said they ran. That's why we went. We just went back to get the witness's name, but we we didn't have uh, we didn't want to have him on air. So you saw the accident, Grandin Pascal. They bailed. They ran down the alley behind Summit Westbound, and they cut up here. The witness said they cut up here, and sure enough, sure enough, the. Gun was found. Pat's gonna take a picture of it right now. There he is. Good teamwork. Unfortunately, uh, looks like we're gonna be short two of them, but they got great. They got great video of who fled. We might be able to recognize some of them. Good to have Darren McDonald on our team there. So you got it, kind of got the flavor of the whole crime solving issue. Tactical, tactical pat. Tactical pat. Tactical oh. pat. A Springfield Hellcat 9mm pistol with what looks like the 15 round extended magazine in it oh. with a laser sight. Oh, okay. So we have evidence boxes called gun boxes now where we recover guns to be processed either for fingerprints or DNA, but we're always very cautious. Canine's looking for additions. Because at one point they were all reported to have had guns. Well, just another commentary in the juvenile justice system. Two of them, I know the names of two of them, they've been arrested numerous times. First time I met the one with the gun was in North St. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. And they kept trying to work their way back to those apartments on Burke. Yep. We arrested them once on the golf course over there, Goodrich yep. Golf Course. That was the one. And sadly, he had a little bit of an attitude with Officer Reese. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, yeah. It's funny, they, some of these kids, they get angry when they get caught yeah, he was and held account, accountable I, for he, their... He, he was decent with me because he knows me, but he kind of chirped at Officer Reese for no reason. Well, I don't know. It's never, you never feel good about missing a couple. Right? So proud, right? Northbound, the left side of 1487, Summit. There you go. Perfect. Gotta find that other one back there. Mm -hmm. There's a construction crew on the bus. All Well, obviously, we didn't have the car in the right direction for you to see. Yeah, Darren, you guys are going to come right down to me. The arrest, but... 
That's just the way it works. We saw the one running down the alley, right, Pat? When we, when we pulled in the alley? Yep. And that was, that was a different one, right? Yep. That kid had black plants or dark blue plants. I so wanted you just to one nail that plastic one trash can. One of them that we did get had all dark clothes. Well, it sounds like we got some video footage from the business oh. showing them running eastbound. How many did, how, what's the actual number, do we know? Five total. Five Three total. in custody, two outstanding. Okay. Sounds like the two outstanding, ha ha one has a dark blue hoodie, one is wearing all dark. Okay. okay. But I'm willing to bet we know who they are. Well, Lamont, oh, whoops. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, you don't really want to scare the seven and eight year old. That phone you have came off of orange pants. Yes, it was in his pants, yeah. Okay. Orange pants. Very considerate of him to wear such identifiable clothing. Yep, whenever we're talking juvenile names, we're going to put you on mute. When we're talking to getting witness names and addresses, we're going to put you on mute. It's just a part of it. Postman, did you see anybody running around here? Any suspects running this way? No. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I saw that. Who are these people looking his eyes? <laughs> well, I was... Other firearm recovered behind 1466 Portland. Excellent. Bingo. Another firearm recovered behind 1466. Yeah, it's one Whoever's operating that drone, they can find where we're at here on the spot 2185. They can check the road here. One six four one four one. Again, the address is one four six six Portland. That's where we're at. Six, you got location again for our drone. One four six six Portland. Are you a hungry pet? <laughs> I am not. What if I on the list? Affirmative, go ahead. Is it so many people are watching today? I think one of the county guys is out in the possible face mask and some of our guys can go and photograph that and cover that as well. A lot of traffic One thing more, we can have to answer, we can go with the fire. Awesome, thank you. An information was about a resident from 1476 Grand. 25 minute time delay that noticed a white male on a bike traveling eastbound in the alley between Grand and Lincoln. Possibly took the bike from a neighbor's garage. She has striped shirt, unknown if it's related to this call. Okay.
Well, good work, Pat. Well, good work, Bob. Worked out well. What was the location? You're going to have to write a report. Yes, indeed. In the rear of 26, well, the good news is they ditched their firearms rather than using them on us. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yes, very much so. You think that'll always be the case? Well, it clearly isn't always the case, as we've sadly discovered recently. Yep. Well, hopefully. If they do use guns, the county attorney gives them more than a year in Red Wings. Right? You'd hope. Yeah, this Mr. Orange Pants it would be nice to see tried as an adult. Well, it would be. He's only 15 years old though. You're kidding. Nope. Wow. Could be almost 16. Big kid for that age. Huge. Huge. Yeah, first time we ran into him, he was a skinny little kid. He's still tall. See, Sweeney's not the kind of guy to brag about whether he's got a gun. You know, yeah. he just calls him as he sees him. Steady. Anyhow, I mean, you look at all the crimes that these guys committed today, terrorizing people. They were in was they were in Minneapolis on a constant spree earlier in the day, actually. So both sides of the river. Both sides of the river. 
people early we arrest day. time after time after time. Yeah, they run over there for half the day. It infuriates me that the good citizens of the metro area are constantly terrorized by the same group of yeah, kids. Right. Time after time one, three, after one, time. One, three, and they get caught and they get minimal in the way of consequences. Needs to be a change in how violent juvenile offenders one, three, one, are, you still the are dealt with. And these are violent yep. juvenile and at least one adult yeah. offender. Yeah, this morning we got a notice from Hennepin County at 8 o'clock this morning that one of these kids that we know was over in South Minneapolis at Hennepin and 24th. Hennepin and 24th. I don't know, actually, I don't know what, we don't know exactly how they knew they were over there, but they knew they were over there. We've got some excellent intelligence analysts over there. This is, I don't really know, this is a little weird, but shock if he was requesting help to look on James for a fresh stolen, which is right in the same similar areas where they were mm -hmm. earlier today. But, uh, was good overall police work though, everybody working together. In the midst of a lot of other crime going on, too, by the way. I had a carjacking before this that everybody, a lot of people are still tied up on. But this car was a, was a, was a suspect in a robbery in Minneapolis on 2400 block of Grand. So At that, that time, occupied by four people, all with guns. Yep. This car was stolen from Minnetonka. I don't know if you know that. Mm. Stolen from Minnetonka. And they were down at 15, these guys were down at 1575 West 7th Street. One three one, you count for the radio. I did not. 18, 800 James Avenue. Sweeney, copy the radio. 1283 Juliet. They were down on 1058 Lombard. It calls on them. Thanks, really, to the people calling. Officer Sweeney, do you copy the radio? What channel is he on? Oh, there. Are you on one now? Yeah. 131. One. 10 9 that way. Okay, I'm right here. Did one of them run down the alley here? I know the ones that double back, kind of right where that guy's walking, but did one run down this alley? I believe one went down the alley to your east, and then the other two tried to go into that fence to the west of the White House. And those are the ones that kind of went yard to yard. Okay, perfect. This is my thought. So, in the category of satisfying, probably semi-satisfying, right? I, you know, two guns, at least, three suspects, I'm satisfied. Okay, I'm three-fifths satisfied. <laughs> three-fifths satisfied. But I could be... I could be convinced to be four fifths satisfied if you take me to lunch. Say the place, I'll take you. I don't. We'll get some fast food. The way this is going. If you just joined us, uh, we had an interesting last hour of pursuing carjackers, arrested three of them. One oh three. Two got away. One oh three. Can you notate that 1460 Grand has cameras on the internet, please?
to have Tom Maher out there with a the long rifle have with our six, huh? That was nice. If you know any other citizens in the Portland, Summit, Lincoln area there, in that 1400 block, it wouldn't be a bad idea to tell them to check their yards after the canine's done here for any guns. Because even though we only recovered two, maybe three guns, the other two probably ditched their guns too. Yep. Don't want to get caught with them on them. No. So obviously don't touch them if you find them. Call the police. But, uh, you know, we don't want little kids to come across those weapons either. Which is always a problem. Well, it was already 4.30 almost. Howdy, I think we did, Pat. <laughs> well, we started an hour and 48 minutes. 176, can you take four? An hour and what? 48 minutes. Well, we got to go two hours. That's oh. a, at least two hours. Something could very well happen in the next 11 and a half minutes. Hey, by the way, let us know if there's any buffering because we ask, we retooled the phone to be able to send, us, send less video bits to ensure that there would be no buffering when we hit bad spots. So Pat, if you can look. I just did and I just saw the... Sometimes it's their phones too. <laughs> Sergeant Stick said right as we said it, it buffered.
white one's the vehicle that was looking to pick up the one that isn't bailed. Activity over here more so than used to have. Mm -hmm. It's been picking up. It's always been one problem house, but now there's like two or three. So it looks like fun. It looks like fun. I'm just not sure what what the game is. <laughs> <laughs> he's not having as much fun as you are. I know he's not. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How's everybody? Thank well, you. Thank you. We're live right now. We're working days today. We decided to slip in a day shift. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Kids look like kids look good. Yeah. Beautiful day, huh? Beautiful day. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, you for saying that. All right. Thank both of you. Thank both, you. both of you. It's Correctional okay. Officer Week this week. Yep, yep, it is. Thank him. Awesome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. One eight six. One eight six. You know, this is why I like working days. Well, everybody knows I don't like working days because of the traffic. <laughs> but if there's one advantage of it, it's people waving to you like that. It's people waving to you. Yeah. And you catch people who bail out of cars a whole lot more efficiently in the daytime. It would have been more dangerous at nighttime, wouldn't Very it? Very much so. We would have done it the same way, though. That's the bottom line is we would have done it the same way. Yep. But I wouldn't have got shot around that corner if you had gun because I was around the corner. And Tommy would have took him out. It's a good feeling. The mm -hmm. one that you, you got... He's a, he's a good guy to have on your six. Experienced SWAT member, apprehension team. Very familiar with his rifle. and uh, Sharp as they come. Dumped his rifle as soon as we got him on the ground so he could put hands on for the arrest. If you just joined us, I hope you watch this earlier broadcast, a tribute to the deputy in St. Croix County and also uh, a discussion of the horrible, horrific homicide in St. Anthony Park that we visited with Michael. So we're going we're gonna to give him a... Check out and see if John's Pizza is open. I know they're gonna. I don't, they're not always open anymore because they get carry out. Says they are. Says they are. And we're gonna sign off, and uh, we'll, we will. Who knows? We might see you tomorrow. There's enough crime going on. We might see you tomorrow. All right, folks, take care. Thanks for being with us.